It's a new series as the Jacksonville Suns continue this historic 20 game homestand to begin the season here at Bragan Field. Today it's the Biloxi Shuckers coming to town, even though the Shuckers will be the home team. The Suns will be the road team. We'll explain more here in Suns today. Here's a 2 2 pitch. Berg swings. It's a high drive. That's deep in the right field. Andrea is back, but he'll watch it go over the wall. A walk off homer for Alex Berg. First pitch to Matt Yingle is swung on. High drive deep to left field to the palm trees. It's gone. Russell swings a fly ball. High and deep to right field. It is gone. A three run homer. Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover. Glad to welcome you back to Bragan Field as we continue along in this long homestand to begin the season for the Jacksonville Suns. The Suns have lost their last three ball games, including yesterday. The Biscuits coming out on top with a 2-0 win in the rubber match. Here's a look back at all the highlights. Here's the 0-1. A fastball strike. Runner goes. Throw down to second. Is in plenty of time. Brandon Bantz throws out Daniel Robertson trying to steal. Base side of the rubber. Wines, turns, and deals. A swing and a ball shot deep in the air to left. Back goes Galloway to the track, to the wall, and it's gone. Justin O'Connor, his third home run of the year, jumps the biscuits out in front one to nothing here in the top of the second. It'll be a 2-2 with one out. Runner on third. Here's the pitch. Robertson swings and flares one over a leaping Rosa into right field. That drops in for a base hit. And that's an RBI single for Daniel Robertson as the biscuits take a 2-0 lead here in the top of the third. A 2-0 loss for the Jacksonville Suns. The Suns had a lot of opportunities to score runs that would have tied the game or possibly given Jacksonville a lead, but a lot of men left on base. The Suns really struggled batting with runners in scoring position. Now it's a new day and also a lot else is going on around the Southern League of Professional Baseball. With more on that, here's Kyle Crooks. All right, Roger, it was supposed to be another busy afternoon yesterday around the Southern League. Only one doubleheader went through completion. We had three rainouts around the Southern League. Biloxi, who's visiting here in Jacksonville, went up against Mobile. They split a double header, losing the first one by a score of six to two, and then losing the second game by a four to nothing score. As we take a look around the Southern League and the standings going on right now, Chattanooga six and three, first in the North Division. Adam Walker leads in home runs for the Lookouts. The Smokies. Tied for first, Dan Vogelbach off to a hot start, a 579 on base percentage, while Birmingham two games off the pace. Tim Anderson, a hot start for him, second in hits in the Southern League and second in stolen bases. Montgomery, who just left the baseball grounds of Jacksonville, they're winners of three straight, getting strong starting pitching like we saw here in Jacksonville. Jamie Schultz, along with Austin Pruitt, are in the top five in strikeouts and Jackson is in the basement right now. Four games under 500, three and a half off the pace. Steven Landazuri has been the one bright spot while the bats have continued to struggle for the generals. Landazuri is holding opponents to a .77 average against. Now we move over to the South Division. Mobile has leaped into first place with the loss from Jacksonville yesterday. Raul Navarro hitting 429, second in batting average in the Southern League. Biloxi's in second place with the split of the doubleheader yesterday. They're five and four. Three players for the Shuckers are hitting over 390. Yadier Rivera, Michael Reed, and Orlando Arcia getting off to a hot start for the Shuckers. And Jacksonville with the loss yesterday, they drop out of first place and a game over 500. Trevor Williams steps to the mound to try to stop the bleeding and stop the three game slide. The Mississippi Braves, they're five and four as well. They have two players in the top five in hits in Pensacola continues to struggle four games under three games off the pace and they'll start a five game set with the Birmingham Barons. So we hope the rain doesn't wash away any games this time around as around the Southern League there'll be a lot of series starting this week as we continue to roll along in Southern League action as we send it back to you Roger. Thank you, Kyle. Now the Jacksonville Suns welcome in the Biloxi Shuckers for what will be an unusual series here at Bragan Field. Of course, the Shuckers are the new team in the Southern League. However, their ballpark in Biloxi, Mississippi is not ready to open just yet. Probably won't be ready until early June. So the Shuckers are in the midst of a 55 game road trip. However, in this series, the Shuckers will be the home team. The Jacksonville Suns will be the road team. So I get to see the Suns wear their road grays for Bragan Field really at the first time since the ballpark opened in 2000. So it is Biloxi the home team 
Jacksonville, the road team, the Suns will wear the gray uniforms and bat first throughout these next five days here at Bragan Field. A very good pitching matchup to start the series this evening as right-hander Trevor Williams goes to work on the mound for Jacksonville. He's the Marlins number eight prospect has looked really strong in his first two starts. He'll be opposed by Biloxi lefty Brent Suter, who had good success with Huntsville a season ago here in the Southern League. A great pitching matchup. Should be a fun night here at Bragan Field as the Suns and the Shuckers start game one of five here in Jacksonville. If you're at the ballpark, just sit back and relax. We have baseball between the Suns and the Shuckers coming up. And if you're on social media, make sure you tag your post with the hashtag never been hotter. We'll repost some of our favorites throughout the game. And also, if you're watching this online on the Suns YouTube channel, just head on over to JackSuns.com. There you can listen to the game through the Suns Baseball Network or watch on MILB.TV. With the Jacksonville Suns, I'm Roger Hoover.